Hello, God's morning and grand rising, everyone. This is Brandon from ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. And today I want to talk about being thankful for our embodiment, spiritual community. How many of you are actually thankful for your embodiment? Seriously, that seems to be a problem with the spiritual community, right? Um, People before they're spiritual, they're usually not thankful for much at all. Um, And then when we get in the spiritual community, you know, a lot of times we have lofty ideas up here, but we still have depression, anxiety, body issues, etc. Right? Or we get distracted by this thing we call the body. But the thing is, is we were given it for a reason, right? We're given it a reason so we could experience and then we could come closer to source. So we could tap into that because maybe we needed a reminder right? And this body, the sufferings that we have, those are lessons, those are teachings. Me, I dealt with depression, anxiety, and fibromyalgia for most of my life. 24 years I had. From age 8 was my first suicidal ideation, and I had it every day since then, till two years after my dad's suicide, right? For 17 of those years, I was studying Eastern philosophy and trying to practice meditation and everything. Then I really started to understand it a few years back. And that's what changed. I started being thankful for what I had. And when you have a body that's hurting all the time and when you have a mind that's hurting all the time, it's hard to do that. I get it. But that's why we have free will because we have to make that choice to have the faith regardless and to be thankful Why did I have those pains? I realize now because I wasn't thankful. I wasn't appreciative for the gift I had already been given. So why is it going to give me more? Actually, it's going to take it back. And that's not mean. That's that's just understandable. If I'm not using it to be the limitless self that I am capable of, why would it let me keep it? The mind, the body, why? It's like, oh, okay, well, this was a bad run for you. Let's speed this process along, right? Until we take accountability and ownership, that's where we change it. So be thankful for your embodiment today. Be thankful you're in this body so you can learn those sufferings, so you can learn that lesson, so you can come closer to Source and God, because that is the only mission here. doesn't matter which way you do it, but that is your only mission and the only reason you are embodied to begin with. That is the key. All right, everybody, I hope this video helps. Go out there, stay mindful and have a great, great life on purpose. Be thankful for your embodiment.